Okay, let's go to the forecast, everybody. We've got a partly cloudy sky uh, outdoors. Went uh, just outside the back door here at Fox 17 recently. Looked up, and you can see stars. So these clouds are relatively thin at the moment. They will be thickening up, though, as we go through the morning as a weak weather system, and I mean really weak, will be traversing from northwest to southeast late morning and early afternoon, bringing about a few flurries or a snow shower. And with temperatures this marginal, there could even be a couple rain droplets mixed in or even a few sleet pellets, but it sounds worse than it'll really turn out to be. That shifts out of here, and there can even be a couple episodes of uh, the, some sun working in, particularly early, and then again late. Uh, temperatures that top out in the upper 30s by day's end, so another well above normal afternoon is anticipated. Yesterday, we got to 41 with all that sunshine. What a nice looking Monday it was around West Michigan. Bitterly cold air, though, bottled up now in northern Canada. This has been gathering and really intensifying the last few days and with time going through this work week some of this will be settling southward and some of those minus double digits uh, minus 20s or so will be right along the u.s canadian border by late this coming weekend and into early next week and then we look to see uh, towards the middle and especially latter parts of the month if some of that really cold air can start to come southward and eventually eastward towards west michigan there are no uh, locks on that yet but it does look like we are shifting towards a colder pattern and the question is going to be just how much colder with time. Readings around our neck of the woods running from the mid to upper 20s to around 30 degrees, kind of hinging on how many of these mid clouds you have uh, shifting overhead. Feels like temperatures or wind chills as low as the lower 20s, so it is cool. It is January 7th, folks. You'd anticipate that, but it's really not that bad by the standards of what typically is the coldest time of the year. A few snow showers by around lunchtime shortly thereafter. Again, there may even be a little mixed precip in there briefly, but it won't last long. Some sunshine to follow. We get into Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday will be quiet. Now, there will be a few snow showers later tonight. I'll talk more about that coming up. But then we got another system, a weak one, with some drizzle and light rain Thursday into Friday. And then the weekend, we got something to talk about as well. Our snowfall deficit is noticeable, minus 12 inches or so from where we should be this time of year. Typically, by January 7th, we've gotten about 33 to 34 inches of snow. Not the case so far. We'll see if that changes with this anticipated uh, pattern shift, or at least a bit of it, once we go later this month. Radar and satellite, there's not much happening. You don't see any precipitation, rain or snow right now. Now, further westward into Wisconsin, there is a band of some light snow showers, and those are the ones that will be coming across our area in several hours from now. Lakeshore flood advisories as well, as winds will be picking up here late morning and afternoon. But those advisories actually go into effect at 7 o'clock this evening. That's when some of these westerly winds will be at their strongest and gusting into the 30s to near 40 miles per hour late evening into the overnight and waves will be back around seven feet. It does look like by tomorrow morning. We've got uh, some scattered snow showers that will return, not the ones from uh, around lunchtime today, but with the passage of a cold front this evening, that'll spark some lake effect activity. Nothing great in scale, but likely to be a dusting, a coating, maybe a half of an inch for many of us. And there could even be a couple spots near the lakeshore that do get an inch or two. We'll see about that. But that would be the minority of our viewing area. Look at the milder air come back, though, already on Thursday. Though tomorrow will be cold in the upper 20s. We're into the lower 40s, it looks like, Thursday, Friday. And then look, more moisture returns Saturday into Sunday. And with an actual area of low pressure passing to our southeast, we may have some rain, sleet, snow to contend with. They could accumulate. But again, that's several days away. We've got time to track that. Temperature is really not bad through the weekend.